to to persist when things are not going my way and how to yeah. adjust when things are also go, going really really good uh but yeah. you you really know that there is a lot of work to 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 do because yeah. even if things are going good i am like 180 in the world i, I need to be top yeah. Top. Yeah. So, okay no, yes that's right no. i i think i think uh, at, at your level at your level you are top in the world um to improve uh, a lot of times it's it depends on details mm -hmm. um i was talking i was talking here uh, last month with uh, renata zarazua yes. she's a mexican player uh, around 170 in the world and she says she said uh, in acapulco in mexico in a tournament she did very well um, she, she played uh, against Sloane Stevens, and um, in, in the, the first set she won. In the second set she was she was uh, she was winning five two. She just needed one game more. But at that moment, Sloane Stevens was playing very well, very well. She 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 recovered her her level and she played very well. So uh, she asked her brother, one of her coaches, to get down to the to the bank and and, and talk to her. Because she was she was nervous, uh, she she thought, oh my my God, oh, now uh, uh, Sloane is playing very good, and uh, she probably is, she, she's going to win me. So Pato uh, Tarazua, her brother, uh, got down and and she told her, Renata, you are winning five two, you already won the first set, five two. Mm, the pressure is for her, not for you. Yeah. So. Renata, Renata didn't didn't see at that moment that she was in a very good position, mm, but she just was focused on to see the, the, the great level of in that moment of her uh, opponent. So that detail when Pato said, "Don't worry, you you got it almost done. Just win one more game and it's done. Even if you lose the second set, you already have a third set," mm -hmm. and that reinforced reinforced the mind of Renata. And she won that game, and she won the match. It was a very important win for her. So what, I, what I'm trying to say is, is uh, those little details are so important. You already know to play tennis. You, you know where to hit it down the line, cross court. You know the, the play uh, forehand and a backhand. But maybe, like you said, in in the slice, in in the technique of the slice, uh, some some detail you 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 try to change to to improve your level a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean. Uh, there are some some in some levels of tennis. For example, if you are 500, 600, then you have lots of things to prove. But if you are 100 in the world to get to 50, uh, it's not the ground strokes your problem. You know, it's like some details, some confidence, some one really important match that you win, that you that you take some confidence and still go. I can say to you, yeah. Christian Garin. He was like three, four years, 200, 150, 200, 150, 120. And then in one year, he, last year, he won two ATPs. And this year, already two ATPs. And he's like top 20 in the world. I mean, he he was, he's not a so different player that he was that time. I mean, he, he, he only uh, took more consistency, more confidence on, on his game. And for sure, some, some details uh, must have changed in his mind. And he started to be yeah. more and achieve some some great results. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, um, let's let's get uh, ending. I just want to ask you one more thing, and then four little questions with uh, just uh, mm, uh, short uh, answers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, in in Brazil, uh, if if somebody wants to be uh, a tennis trainer. Uh, the, that person needs to be graduated. You have to study to study for that and and achieve a, a license. True. Um, but do you agree with me that maybe um, a person, a player like you, uh, you know the game, you know what is how to play a backhand, a forehand, and and you know the tactics, you know everything about tennis. Do you think that you would need uh, uh, in the future a, a license, a, a graduation, to be to be a tennis trainer? No. Do you think that would be necessary? No, I don't think so. I, I think there are two situations. I think yeah. there is the situation of the of the, the the guy who studied at the university but doesn't know nothing about tennis and started to be a tennis trainer. 
This is one situation. And then the other situation yeah. is the guy who played tennis and who wants to, 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 for example, to teach in a gym, in a gym work, you know? So this is not compatible either. So, for example, yeah. case, if I want to be a tennis trainer, I think there should be some special course, not with four years of course, but a yeah. uh, like three months, six month course. Yeah, to, a quick one. Worthy for the university to graduate in tennis. I can give tennis classes, not football or yeah. other sport classes. Exactly. But, but exactly. Uh, I think it should be done like this. If you play this sport yeah. and went like uh, was bit, uh, inside the best three or four hundred in your sport, you can you can. You know the sport. You know the the the, the yes. Training. You have the you have the knowledge. Yes. You have the knowledge uh, to 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 give lessons. Yeah, for tactical sure. knowledge, technical knowledge, and, and sure. in in your case, a lot more. Yeah. Okay, thank you. But to me, that was a curious question. I I learned that today, and I wanted to to tell you that. Yeah. Okay, uh, four more small questions. Mm -hmm. uh, Brazil has uh, a lot of fantastic cities, but two of them, two of them, to me. Are special, though I've never been there. Sao Paulo yeah. or Rio? Rio. 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 Why Rio? Because uh, Sao Paulo has not beaches. You cannot go. <laughs> <laughs> Rio for sure. <laughs> That's a fantastic answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then, um, um, then I think you already uh, responded uh, the second one. You answered the second one. Copacabana or the, the tropical Amazon. Copacabana. Copacabana, of course, the, the, the most fantastic beach in the world. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, of all the countries, not cities, but countries you visit in, in, in the world because of your tennis career, which one did you like most? You, yeah. may, you may not say Brazil. US. I only USA. Don't like, I only don't like the food there. But the country... The food is very bad. Yeah. Fast food. <laughs> okay, and so now I, w I wanted to. That's the last one. I, I would like to ask you, from the of the three the three big players uh, at uh, male tennis right now, what makes in in, in one little uh, sentence what makes him so so special? So, uh, Roger Federer, why is he so good? Why is he so special? Uh, I I think he 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 see he sees the the. Uh, the game better than everyone. I think he, his styling of playing attacking tennis is unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, to me, he, he's, he right now is he's, he's the best. But that's just my opinion. Okay. What makes Rafa Nadal so special? His mentality. He, he, his spirit to fight every point like he's the last one. Yeah. Okay, and, and the last one, uh, Novak Djokovic, uh, he's the number one in the world. Um, there's no doubt that he is a fantastic player, at least uh, like uh, Federer Nadal. Why is he so special? I think his consistency. He can play in, in, in every surface like the same, uh, only in, on clay because Rafa is the best of all times, like yeah. uh, incomparable, but... Uh, yeah. uh, he can play his tennis in all of the the surfaces, like in every with every kind of player, and he has really really solid strokes. And I think yeah, that's right. And then his mental strength also is is really important to him. Okay, uh, well, uh, Joao, uh, let's let's uh, end this conversation. I loved it. It was uh, it was really interesting. Yeah. Um, your your opinions are, are, are very good. I I, I loved here, especially what you think about your 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 country. So I hope you you will start good at the after coronavirus uh, tennis tour, and I will follow you. Okay, thank you very much. It was really nice. Thank you very much, Joao. Oh, bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Um, that was uh, Joao Menezes. Joao is one of the greatest tennis players uh, right now in Brazil, the third one. Uh, we hope you liked it. Soon we have another player, another person involved in tennis to announce you. For now, um, if you want to subscribe on the webpage of Yotanista, yotanista.com, 
please do it. You will remember, you will be a member of a different tennis community and you will receive a gift by email. For now, thank you very much for being here and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.